Hey guys, welcome to the SFF workshop. This is my personal playground where I like to build stuff, play with computers, game, and other miscellaneous. Today we're going to work on my quiet 1U server, uh, rack server project. Now this is based on an iStar USA D11.8 version 2 1U ITX rack chassis. Now, I've already taken the ears off this because it doesn't fit my rack, that's a long story. So let's get into it. Now the whole premise behind this uh, rack server project is that for many years I've been playing with 1U rack servers and they've always been very loud, usually, usually with dual Impala 40mm fans, usually 40 by 40 by, I don't know, 60 deep. Very loud. And just in spite, I want to build something quiet. So this is a standard, very short, 1U Mini ITX rack server case, designed for a Flex ATX power supply, Mini ITX board, a couple of 40mm fans in the front, which I'll show you in a second, and a pair of 2.5 inch drives and single slot graphic, uh, single slot expansion card. In the front, two 40mm fan mounts. I've already removed the front panel cables because they get in the way. Just for a quick demonstration, I'll show you how this case is meant to be used. So we have a Flex ATX power supply. Pop it in there. This has been Noctua modded. It's a story for another day. Mini ITX motherboard. This one is a B150N Phoenix with an i7-7700T in it. And we'll just leave it at that. Now the major problem that we have with this is that in a server case, the airflow is to go from the front to the back. There is no cooling vents on the side and you can't cool from the top or the bottom because that's where the other servers go. Now this memory just completely blocks airflow, there's no airflow to get through there and we can't cool it without a very very loud low profile cooler. So I thought about different options such as taking out the power supply, using a AC to DC and a DC to DC such as the compact DC160, inducting airflow around this way and out that way, but then I realised a while ago I bought a motherboard for no reason at all except for that it looked cool. Let's have a look at that. This is a Gigabyte GAB150M PIO SI Revision 3. Now this is a PIO motherboard which is bigger than Mini ITX. You can see the mounting holes, there's two sets of Mini ITX mounting holes. The PCI Express isn't down this end like it should be. It's up here, a right angle. It is slightly deeper than Mini ITX, but there is one advantage to this. The everything goes the correct direction. So if we pop this in here, we can see it fits. It does block the graph, the power supply and it is very, very tight at the front, which will affect our cooling options, but I have an idea for that. I did consider moving the motherboard here because the mounts also match up. However, the solid state, or the two, two and a half inch drive bay here the standoffs underneath are fixed and I'd have to basically ground them out for this to work. The only advantage being is I can get a slightly larger card in this end or a sewer card and use a Flex ACX power supply. So we'll pop it here. But let's look at this a little closer. So this is, the, as I said, the Gigabyte B150M PIO board, which is designed for all-in-one computers, basically. Single M2 slot, Wi-Fi slot, pair of a SATA slot ports, as well as USB 3 at the front. Not the greatest front panel layer uh, loadout there is, but a, you are restricted just by the form factor. On the underneath, nothing really fancy to look at, just a couple of makeshift uh, nuts to hold on the Supermicro 1U CPU cooler, which is a passive cooler. This is why we need to aim the airflow at it. Underneath, I've currently got a Pentium G4500, but Depending on BIOS support, I may try and put in my i7-7700T, which is a quad-core, eight-thread, 35-watt processor. But because this is a basically an OEM board, who knows if there's gonna be BIOS support for it. I've got a stick of HyperX memory in here. I don't think I'm gonna end up using it. It is too tall for the case. The top panel does end up bowing out. I have tried to get VLP or very low profile memory off AliExpress and the like, and it's been to put it lightly, a shit show. I ordered a stick and it came with a sodium and it's been in, yeah. 
I'll have a look for other options. This will be a multi-part video series. I'm in no rush. This is this is playtime. <laughs> Alright, so let's pop this in here. Just four screws, because it is a derivative of Mini ITX. I won't screw these down too diff uh, too hard because because of this being a one use server, the standoffs are significantly shorter than a standard PC case. So the board does end up flexing a bit, sitting on CPU backplate, the other mounting things like the solder joints for these. It's just how it goes. Now I'm just going to upset those with OCD and put in a different screw. Sorry, not sorry. Right, so this is it mounted. You can put card in here which I'll be picking a Radeon Pro WX2100 which I used in my previous uh, system it's kind of going unused right now so we'll pop it in here and this is where I realized I should have mounted it before I mounted the motherboard might be a moment Right, with that fixed, you can see it fits nicely in here. All I have to do is make a custom plate to adapt Flex ATX to graphics. I don't think everyone's, anyone's ever said that before. Hey, yeah, that's how it goes. Now, one thing you may have noticed, cooling. There is no room for even a very, one second. One very thin, cheapy 40 mil fan, just won't fit in the front. There is another option though. So we'll pull off the front panel and we'll have a look. undo that quickly. These two screws on the side don't hold on the front panel. They do they hold on the inner front panel, but I know I'm going to be taking that off anyway. So while we're here, I'll undo that. Flipping the case over. One. Two. Three. And four. This takes off the front, I believe it's stamped aluminium or actually no, it will be extruded aluminium with a little bit of CNC work to open up these vents here. So I'll flip this around. So on the front here you can see the 40 mil fan mounts. Now unfortunately due to the design of 1U it is 40 mil thick and the steel here and steel here just prevents a fan from fitting here. So this has to go. We will have to do something about this front panel at another time, but I have some options available to me, basically scavenging from other cases. That, and let's be honest, that just looks cheap and nasty. Right, now we can see heaps of room. I worked out that these Noctua NFA, uh, in, NFA4X20s will fit perfectly between the inside of this and the motherboard. If anything, it is a friction fit, so the front panel actually holds the fans in, meaning I don't really have to make a mounting bracket for them. At, the at this time, I've only got one. In future, we'll get three, so it'll be one here, one here, and one here, with some plastic ducting just to keep these extra cool. Now, of course, Power supply is going to be an issue. Now, I did consider using the Compact 160. However, I'll probably end up going for a HD Plex 400 watt AC to DC and use the space in here. I don't really need to use uh, M.2, yeah, sorry, two and a half inch drives as I do have a NAS I can use as well as I'm going to use a thing here. So this may be our power supply area. I mean, I could just mount the aforementioned Flex ATX power supply in there, but where's the fun in that? So, we'll just put that there, pop the front panel back on. Just a little bit of a fiddliness. Pop it over. Four screws to pop it back on. And then in the coming week, I'll be buying the other three 40 more fans that I need for the front of this, as well as looking into getting some uh, material to start making a replacement little front panel daily and uh, other mounts that we need for this. 
as I said before, the whole goal of this is to do something which isn't par for the course, which is a quiet one use server. Servers, rack servers especially, are generally designed to sit in data centers or racks out of nowhere and nobody really gives a shit about sound. I, however, do because my rack is my bedroom because I live in the most expensive city in New Zealand and that makes things difficult when it comes to actually having space. So, quiet rack. This will do. My nurse is already quite, uh, very much quieted down with a fanless Corsair power supply, well, semi fanless Corsair power supply, Noctua fan, solid state only. So, this is just an extension of that. This will mostly be used for video processing. So, it's very difficult to move the fan at the front here, which is great because that's all you need. Now, the little silicon, silicone, or whatever it is, vibration dampeners at the front here will keep everything nice and well, vibration dampened is the the uh, job of that is. Power supply, we're going to end up having to route cables through here to here. Unfortunately, the compact unit is too tall, so if we pop it in. Uh, this, is, this is a prototype unit, uh, this is number two, I believe. And we're the final version is very similar, but it worked fine in two U, not so much in one U. However, a ATX extension through here will be fine. The whole system is going to be consuming less than about 70 watts in total, so I'm not overly concerned about power supply options. What else do we have to consider here? Uh, this will eventually be rack mounted in my rack, which I will show off in a future video once I've tidied it up a bit. It is embarrassing. Quite likely the loudest component in this particular build will be the graphics card, and it's pretty pretty quiet. I was using it as a mild gaming system. Well, I was using this in a mild gaming system at uh, in the past and it was fine. One thing to note is that with one U in particular systems the IO slot is not standard. I'm probably not going to put an IO shield in here it's just the extra venting I know EMI and RF radiation and all that stuff it's bad but you know what screw it it's my system. Well thank you for watching the first video in the series on my one U quiet server. Uh, in future I've got other videos coming such as a custom keyboard, my gaming uh, system and a NFC Skyreach for Mini, as well as Rack Rebuild and other server projects. So subscribe, Ke uh, keep in touch with us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, the links are in the video description. Uh, I am very active on the SFF Network Forum as I used to write for the uh, organisation. So keep a track of us there and thanks for watching.